Hello and welcome back to the channel for the long-awaited return of the Chelsea Rebuild, where um, this is pretty much, well, depending on how it goes, the last episode of this rebuild. Um, technically, I did record another video, but I scrapped it just because I literally haven't played this game in like nearly three weeks. Let's just say work's been mad. Um, and... I just haven't had a chance to really just sit there and be like, yeah, I want to record a video, but whatever. I'm here. I'm here. It's all right. Um, what happened in between the last episode is I lost everything. Yeah. FA Cup? Nope. Champions League? Nope. Literally bottled everything. The month of April was tough. Look at this. We literally only beat Norwich. We lost to lot. We literally bottled out to Leipzig, to Leipzig, and then lost in the semi-final to Arsenal in the FA Cup. So uh, I'm not very happy with that, not at all. Um, literally, we lost two one, drew two two, drew two two again, lost three one in the semi-final, then drew one one to Arsenal, and then lost five three to Man City, and then we're back on form again, and then I've beat. Literally just beat Liverpool 3-1 and we got the last game of the season, which is against Aston Villa, in which it's gone down to the wire because, well, I have to win it. Um, well, actually, no, I don't think I do because if they win, they draw some points, but then my goal difference is miles ahead, so it should be fine. But either way, I want to win it. And then that means I've won the Premier League in my second season. Bish, bash, bosh, Bob's your uncle. Then it would be just try again next year for the Champions League win. Try again for the FA Cup win. And so on and so on and so on. So I'd be pretty happy that I would leave them in a good spot. And then I move on. Then I move on. So, uh, Journeyman save will eventually come back. I literally kind of lost interest in that because I was like just smashing it in the second division of Spain. I wasn't really making much progress in terms of getting to a big team as quickly as I would have liked. But... I'll get back to it. I might just sim through it, or not sim through, just get through that first season, get us promoted, and then then it'd be like, okay, we're in a top division finally. Put myself in the shopping window for a bigger club as soon as, because I don't really want to sit there and do like a whole rebuild for that team. As nice as it would be, though. But anyways, I just need to sim myself to this Aston Villa game. Um, I don't think any transfers have gone down. I literally can't remember. I don't remember what happened in the last episode. I mean, I will have just a quick little look. Transfer history. Um, the last player to come in was Eric Garcia. And the last to go out was Brody Hughes. So I think not a lot's happened. It's literally we just need to play Aston Villa. That is all we need to do. And win the Premier League. Lift the trophy. Come on. We, 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 we got this. We got this. Right. Quite literally on top of the game. Literally holding a team meeting here. Um, literally the game that's going to win us the title. So I need to just drop them a little bit of encouragement. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to give it everything. Unless, it's, like, like you just said, if there's a dramatic swing in goal difference, Arsenal would literally have to win 25-0. <laughs> and we would have to lose for, for us to... For us to have any shift in what's going to happen, which is fine. Um, remember the real reason I scrapped the video, actually. Uh, it was a case that I fat-fingered the, the button that uh, pauses the recording. And I essentially spent 40 minutes on paused recording. So the video was like three minutes long. Because <laughs> then I unpaused it and was like, just like, just a face palm to the camera. And I was like, just, just, just get rid of it. So that's what happened. That is essentially what happened. And now we've got Akula Bali that is injured, which is interesting on top of the game. So he's going to miss out on lifting the trophy. Um, it's probably a case that. Eric Garcia is going to play at the back with Fafana. Um, just trying to remember what players I've got. Been a little while. Been a little while. It's good, like, good gap. Sometimes your brain needs to refresh when you play so much of one game. Um, 
on that side note, I was tempted on a on like rebranding the channel entirely and just having it as my arcade of where I play whatever the fuck I want. Because man, when I stick to a game for like months on end, it's just crazy. Especially when all I upload is FM. It's just sleep, work, FM, edit, upload, sleep, work, FM. <laughs> And it was getting like get into my brain. Don't like overplaying these games. Um, don't like overplaying them at all. Like to vary what I play. Play a lot of stuff. I like playing my Fallout. I like playing my Rally stuff. I like, you know, whatever's good. Currently playing the new Resident Evil, which came out sometime last month. Taking my time with that. I'm not just rushing straight the way through. Um, then I've got the new Star Wars game coming out soon, which I'm looking forward to entirely which is going to be great get that under my ea pro which is good um but anyways enough of that like i said eric garcia for Farno, james chilwell taylor gallagher i'm not too sure on but he might have to do because i don't think i've got another midfielder that is fully fit um in an ideal world in this save, say if I was staying on for another season, I probably would get a big, big, big centre mid. Just someone better than Gallagher. Like a proper world-class midfielder. Because we literally have got Gallagher. And when he's fit, um, what's his name? Kovacic. But he is suspended. Because Kov Kovacic is actually pretty good. Um... And I feel like he plays enough for me to warrant actually um, having someone a lot better. I mean, he's always coming off the bench. He's played four games. He's worth 35 mil. He's not exactly brilliant. If someone offered me 30 mil, I'd probably take that and just bite their arm off. But you know what I mean. Good to have like strength and depth. And all that cool stuff. Um, playing Havertz up front, I'm not too sure. And surely on the last game of the season, it would just be... Look at the man, he's brilliant. Wouldn't it make sense to just play it... Like... Um, that way around. I like that as a lineup. I actually really do like that as a lineup. Um... How is Mount out on that wing? He's pretty good, actually. No, 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 no. He's an inverted winger. I don't really... Yeah, I thought he was better as an advanced playmaker on support, wasn't it? That's his... Is that his preferred row out there? He is preferable when he... Box to box... Oh, he actually prefers box to box midfielder, but I never play him dead on in midfield. He always plays... Either centrally there or either wing, but I kind of like him on that wing. Just because I prefer Pedro up front to Havertz. Because, well, essentially, I don't really think Havertz can finish his dinner, really. Let alone a goal. Although he does have 9 and 3 assists in 26 starts. Mainly from either striker or Cam, which probably isn't brilliant, but... Hey, he has an influence on the team. He has got quite a decent overall rating. Anyways... Submit the team. It's going to tell me Gallagher's lacking that sharpness. That's fine. He's probably going to have to come off somewhat around the 60th minute-ish. Um, we just need a win. Well, we don't even need to do that. Uh, Arsenal need to win and score 25 goals. But I want to end it on a high, you know. End on a high. Give the fans what they want. <laughs> exactly what they want. Right, there we go. Uh, just sorted my mic level out. Apologies if that was distorting through any of that. Might be able to do something in editing. I don't know yet. For some reason, my mic like resets its all, all its levels if I play certain games. Very strange. Very strange. Aston Villa. <laughs> There's nothing more to say. Let's just get on the road. Um, if anyone does decide to watch this, let me know if you want to see other games just other than just FM. We could switch it up a little bit. Why not? You know, in case I get bored. <laughs> I'm now working a lot more hours 
during the week. So, yeah, you're going to probably see a lot, a lot less of me, but less is more, right? Technically, in a weird way. Uh, oh my god, he's just hit the post. He has just hit the post. That is mad. Right, corner in, Mason Mount, what have you got? Big ball in, well over Kenneth Taylor, who has also been a fantastic sizen, uh, sizen? <laughs> fantastic signing. Um, once we lift the Premier League trophy, and I, I want to have a look at the um, end of season review, and I want to see who it thinks our best signing is. Uh, I'll be interested to see who it thinks, because obviously most of our signings have come this season. I'd probably go up there and say Kenneth Taylor is probably one of the better ones. And we're one nil down. Uh, best for me is probably Pedro. Like value for money, definitely. Like he cost me like what thirty high, high end of thirties, like eight thirty nine million, maybe forty. I can't remember, but he's just been fantastic, hasn't he? Uh, one nil down now, of course. Losing as soon as I come on camera, which is always fantastic. Um, well, what have we got? Big. Thing in. Oh, yeah, that's a good header. Let's go. The final with the goal, and he's going to blow offside. Fantastic. I always score offside goals. Always. Please give me the goal. Awarded. Thank you. 1 1. Thank you very much. I know this game is somewhat meaningless, but you got to end on a high. you got to end on, on a high. I mean, how crazy it is that we're going to win this title? Despite how bad that month of that that month of um, what do you call it? April was like, which is crazy to think. So we've been pretty dominant. Other than that little dip, obviously the uh, mid I say the mid season slump in quote marks came a lot later than than normal. Normally uh, it's a thing that I dread and can never really recover from Pedro what a goal that was a great ball in and a great header his 33rd goal of the season who says you need your Hallands and your Vlahovic's and players like that what a guy Pedro's the man what a what a good man there we go round of applause to yourself that's pretty good, that is. Very good, right, 52 minutes in, another highlight. Um, we're defending well there, actually, over on the wing. That is Ben Shirwell, Sterling, Havertz into Kenneth Taylor, which is given away, poor pass, really. Big ball into Coutinho, and just slots it home. We are drawing 2-2. What a crazy game. Um... Where are Aston Villa in the table, actually? Like, 12th. So they're having, like, a, a dead average season. What, why? Why are they playing as well as they are? I mean, the pass was probably half the reason there, but... Is what it is. They're back on the ball again. Uh, I will just pencil in that substitute for Gallagher. For Sabellos, I think. And then we're on 70 minutes, so not a lot happening now. So 70 minutes. Um, drop him the old college encouragement. And then Cheerwells are not having a great game at all. So you're going to come off for Mark Cucurella. And then up front, Sterling is having a pretty piss poor game as well. So hudson Adoy is going to come on. And then I think I'm going to leave it that and just save the last sub. Just in case anything crazy happens. Which hopefully it doesn't. I'd be happy for it to stay as a draw. As nice as a win would be, we've already won the title. As it stands, we are champions. Nothing's going to change. I highly doubt Arsenal are winning their game 25-0. And that was the worst goalkeeping I've ever seen in my life. Well, 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 that was just south of 
terrible. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. That was just awful. <laughs> well, we're going to lose then. We're going to lose. No one is happy at all for whatever reason. Everyone is just... Who have I actually got to bring on, man? No one. I need something. Oh yeah, we got your um, Asperilla. He can come on the wing. Wait, why am I taking Hudson and Doyle for again? No, 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 that is not allowed. Um, for Havertz, yeah, Havertz hasn't really done much. We'll confirm that. We're going to lose. That's a shame. 3-2, what a weird game. Oh well, it doesn't matter, because there we are, we're lifting the trophy in the most anticlimactic way possible. Chelsea, Premier League champions, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at them. They are just psyched. Whoa. That's that, 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 that is good. That is good. Look at what it means to them. There I am down there. Look at look at me just in my nice suit. Come on, do the cartwheel. I wanna I wanna see him do the cartwheel. Yeah, that's it. Number forty one, I'm gonna find out who did the cartwheel and give him a pay rise. Well, I'm going to tell him it wasn't good enough, but either way, <laughs> we've lifted the trophy. Um, well, Arsenal bottled it anyway. <laughs> they didn't even win their game. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Who was number 41? Uh, let, me, let me find out who number 41 was. No, oh, Sabellos. There you go. Sabellos did the, um, what do you call it? The cartwheels. That's good. I won't give him a pay rise because he's old. <laughs> it sounds really mean, actually. That actually sounds really mean. Right, well, there you go. Uh, good ending to the season, really. Lifting the Premier League trophy, whether we lost the game or not. Um, there you go. I had a player selected in the team of the year. And then I had another achievement called Tremendous Trio, which I'm just going to find out what that is as well. Oh, I had three players selected in the team of the year. Well, I got manager of the year. Oh, the team of the year. Oh, Jesus Christ. I had one, two, three, four, five, six players. Chilwell, Fafana, James, Mount, Sterling, Pedro. It's literally just Man City, Chelsea, Ramsdale. Which is pretty mad. Uh, which is pretty mad. Um, go on, give me this end of season review, please. Why are we still training coming out of the game? I don't know. I, I, I don't really know, actually. And here we have the end of season review, the new arrivals. We won the Premier League. Oh, yeah, I forgot about David Neres. He is still injured. He is still injured, I think. Like, where, where's my um, medical centre? David Neres, still out for another three months. There you go. Pedro was actually a first season signing as well, because he's not showing up on here. So for this season, definitely Kenneth Taylor. £87 million paid, mind. But he got 42 appearances out of it. Six goals, eight assists from pretty much... Defensive midfield for the most part. Um, they're very pleased with that. Eric Garcia. Uh, I actually paid 40 million for him, but he's been pretty good. He came in in January. David Nere is definitely a really, really good. Um, definitely a good signing. He just 
got injured. Pleased to see there aren't many future fees that could end making the deal too expensive, which is good. Literally just a flat 52 mil, I think. Uh, Danny Sabellos, um got a good player and didn't have to pay a transfer fee for him, so the board are happy with that. And then obviously a Yazir Asperilla. Um, they're content. This is mainly down to the player's high potential relative to the squad. He's just got good potential. He's a wonder kid. He will be good in the future. I won't be here to see it. And then transfers out. They're just like, they're going to just be content. They're just going to be content with all of it. I mean, Pulisic went. Obviously, the board are going to be very disappointed with that just because I made a massive loss because we paid like 60 odd million for him originally. But, um,. I mean, you can do better than that. I mean, you, you can always do better than Christian Pulisic. <laughs> Although, um, even pretty damn good for them, actually. Just under a 7 in the Premier League. Conference League has been pretty good, and FA Cup, he was pretty good as well. So, yeah. There's all my outings. I don't really care about most of them. Um... The board are absolutely pleased with me winning the Premier League, as they should be. Champions League, they're going to be like disappointed. It was only the quarters. FA Cup, they're going to be pretty just content with it being a semi-final. Carabao Cup, um, we lost to Everton, didn't? They're just pleased that we reached... Okay, yeah, because they don't care for that, do they? We could have done a lot better in the Cup runs, but is what it is. Right. We have biggest win, 6-0 over Bromley. Who cares? Match to remember, 3-1 over Liverpool. That's good FA Cup game. And then goal of the season actually came from the Nangolo Kante we sold in the January. So we are going to have a look at this at these goals if I can. Watch the goals. So, second goal was from Kante. Also, there's a nice little goal there from Havertz. Uh, and then this will be the second goal. Goes back, Kante. <laughs> oh, yeah, with the little sissy kick thing. Lies its way in, which is insane, actually. Which is actually insane. That is a really good goal. Uh, Money-wise, we're all pretty good. Doesn't really matter too much. Broadcast revenue just slightly down. Competition prize money didn't do as good. And then there's my lineup of the season. Pedro, Sterling, Havertz, Mount Tate. Yeah, that's pretty much how I lined up for the most part, actually. Um, pretty much everyone's really good. Koulibaly's just slightly under a seven. He kind of got rotated in and out quite a lot with Eric Garcia. And hudson Adoy is only just in there because, well, David Neres got injured. Otherwise, he probably would be there. But he was literally out for the whole season. Oh, mad. We could have we could have done with a David Neres. Um, player rewards: fans player of the season, Sterling. Young player of the season, Fafana. If you still qualify for that, twenty three. That's a bit mad. Signing of the season, of course, Kenneth Taylor. And then thirty three goals from Pedro, which is crazy. Eighteen assists from Sterling, which is crazy. We we were just good, man. The hard work paid off. And then there's the dynamic line, if you care for that. Well, let's just accept the current vision. It doesn't really matter because we're, we're done. We won the Premier League. Mission accomplished. I mean... Because we're going to go do it again next season. Um, well, there's a break. I want every single one of you to be fully rested with a positive frame of mind when you get back. Because we're going to qualify for the UEFA Champions League next year. That's great. They can all get behind that. That's exactly the thing. Aiming to win. Reach the latter stages. That sounds good. Once you'll return from your holidays, we can discuss promises for next season. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I actually kept them happy for once. I'm not normally any good at that. And then we'll go to the USA for the preseason when that comes around.
there you have it. We won the Premier League. Thank you very much for watching for this this incredible journey with Chelsea Will, where we should have won something. So to Frank Lampard, who has taken over for the rest of the season. You ain't gonna win anything, we know that. Um this message should actually be to Todd Bowley. Thought your shit out. Get us a good manager. Stop throwing pointless money at the club. Look, it will take time, I know, but please. 600 million does not outweigh having an average manager. Please, choose the right man. Personally, if I'm choosing, I'm probably taking Nigel... Um, no, is it Nigel... Nigelsman? Julian Nigelsman, that's the one. Or Luis Enrique. Personally... I'd probably take Luis Enrique, maybe. I know you're talking to both. It looks more likely to be Nagelsmann, but whatever works. Either of those are fine. They're both known winners. I'd take either of them. Uh, Nagelsmann's probably a little better just because, well, he literally has won everything with Bayern Munich. He is known for winning. Well, I mean, so is Luis Enrique, actually. Well, look, the things he did with Atletico is, a cr is crazy. Uh, obviously, Spain ended badly, but international management is a bit weird. But anyways, please choose a good manager. It just shows a good bit of tactical guidance, and you can go a long way. That's what it shows. Anyways, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in whatever comes next. Goodbye.